Imagine a shirt that lets you feel your favorite athlete's excitement when he or she scores a goal or wins a race. Philly Whitehouse not only imagined this, she designed it. Her company, Wearable Experiments, has produced Alert Shirt and NL Fan Jersey, which gives sports fans a more emphatic experience. Whitehouse, along with her co-founder, Ben Moyer, are currently working on a new clothing item for yoga enthusiasts. The yoga pants use haptic feedback, or light tapping, to help correct difficult yoga poses. By continuing to incorporate hardware and software into clothing, Wearable Experiments hopes to take fashion to the next level. We've seen technology go from this thing that helps us to this thing that has become uh, a frustration and a, a, um, an irritation. Um, we're so dependent on it now that you sort of don't see people at a dinner table without it. Um, so we would love to be able to bring people back to this human connection. It's not just about technology to make us more efficient, it's actually technology to make us more human. Wearable Experiments is a wearable technology company and we create the hardware, the software and the apparel uh, for technology that's on the body. And I combine forces with my co-founder Ben Moyer. Um, as a technical director he sort of feeds us the insight about the latest hardware and the latest software and, and then together we work on how we can integrate that into an amazing experience on the body. I sort of found my inspiration through technology in a weird and wonderful way. A lot of it was um, traveling back and forward to San Francisco and a lot of it was just personal research. Um, one mentor of mine said that I should go to bed with dead people and I thought that was the oddest thing in the world, um, but it quite literally just meant books. Looking at you know ways of inventing and discovery and that really inspired me to just start thinking differently um, and the more I d dove into it the more possibilities I realized there were that um, that basic excitement really was what drew me over the line to, to start this company so empathy and design is really at the forefront of where we position our branding through that we've used physical touch as this subtle form of communication and we believe that um, haptic feedback and vibration on the body is this empathetic, soft communication that can be really subtle and unobtrusive. So we've worked on several products to date and following that we worked on a product with Fox Sports in Australia and it was called the Alert Shirt. And the Alert Shirt communicates the emotional feedback of your favourite team live as you're watching the game. We've reinvigorated that and we've used a, um, a similar concept but for the Netherlands rugby female sevens team. Um, this is like a whole new ballpark for them. That's, this is the first year they've ever been an Olympic sport um, and it's really exciting to be a part of that journey with them and not only have the athletes at the forefront but also the fans um, and really designing for the fan experience as much as you are for the athletes experience. Currently holding up the um, fan jersey for the Netherlands, um, you can see we produced this um, for their trial that they've just done for the um, Olympic squad, which is great. It was amazing. This is the first time this sport has become an Olympic sport. Um, and so we've gone through the emotions that they experience in the game and anxiety being one of them, this sort of heartbeat that you build up when someone takes a big tackle. Boom.
Um, I believe like you shouldn't have to look like the technology that you've grown so dependent on. Um, and I don't think we want to walk around looking like a computer. I genuinely believe that this has to be a, a beautiful experience, visually as well as emotionally and physically. So I hope that um, the way you experience our clothing and you experience the way that they change your day-to-day um, -day activities will only give people more time and um, more pleasure in the activities they really enjoy. That's it for this week. Join the conversation with us on social media. We are CCTV America on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. And now you can watch Full Frame on our new mobile app, available worldwide on any smartphone for free. Search CCTV America on your app store to download today. All of tonight's interviews can still be found online at cctv-america.com. And let us know what you'd like us to take Full Frame next. Simply email us at fullframe at cctv-america.com. Until then, I'm Mike Walter in Los Angeles. We'll see you next time.